hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel so in the last video tutorial we were able to um retrieve the user details for a particular signed in user okay what we didn't do is to display it in the profile page so that's what we are going to do in this video and then in the next video we will find a way to log out and then auto authenticate the user okay so um let's um go to our scope model i'm already in this user scope model and then let's go to where we get the user um was it the get user info here so we are going to use the same um method okay just that there will be a difference some small difference here and then we will change this to um user details okay and then we have to also remove this um future from there because we don't want to return a future and we don't need this one too we also don't need this line of code but we want to call this method in a sense when the whole app loads because we are even calling um you let me let's just continue i will show you why okay so i'll just take this one out and then i also don't need this line of code here i mean i don't need the if statement here so i'll just and then I don't know, want to return a future. Take this one out and then take this one out. So I think now we have um, the code. I don't need the print statement. Yeah, so this is the code that we have now. Take this one to out. We know that this works, okay, this code works. Okay, the difference is that we are not returning a future yet. So now when we come in here, I want to display um, the username and then the email here. Um, so um, with this one i will go into the profile page now we know we have this method here which is um get user details the difference between these two is that this is returning a future and the reason why i did this one that way is because when we go into the um authenticate where is it um, authenticate okay when we um where is it um the the sign up and then yeah so where is the code okay so yeah so when we write the code here we want to make sure that this information um is returned okay before we even try to um assign the authenticated user info here okay that's why i made that one um as a feature i want to wait for it to finish okay now um, when we go into the profile page we have um the get user details so i'll come into the profile page here and then copy the whole scale food um code here widget and then use a scope model descendant here okay scope the scope model descendant and this time i also need the builder and then i can call the build contest contest here you know this thing is something you always have to do when you are using the scope model okay and then we can call this model Okay, and then we can also return this the scaffold widget that we copied. Now we can go up and then import the main model. Okay, because it's not here, it's doing an error. Then we have it here. Now I save it, and since we have access to the model, then we can now use call, create a an object here called user info. User info here. And then we can say model dot get user details. Okay, this time we don't even have to wait for it. So we, because it has already fetched. Okay, so get user um, details, and we can say model dot authenticated user because we already have that authenticated user dot id. You know that the authenticated user id can be used to fetch for the user um, info. So when we do this, and then I try to print um the object so um, the user info and then anyways we can just go ahead and do this <clears throat> when i save and then i come into my um debug console you can see i'm getting an instance okay you can see that this it keeps on um giving an instance the reason is you know um when we use the scope model and then when we come uh we wrap the whole scaffold with um the the scope model descendant it will always keep on rebuilding so we will 
use another way where we will um, save the details of the user into um, a shared preference and then later retrieve it but i want to do that when we go to the auto authenticate and then when we want to also log out before we come back and then change the whole thing so for now we are going to do it this way okay so now since we have access to this user info i can come to um, where is it i can come to this side and um i use um let's say this and then call the user info dot wait okay call the user info dot um email um no i think the username first and then i'll put the email here so i'll copy the same thing here and then i'll paste it here and then call it email and then when i save i should see um some changes so you can see now we have the another cc and then um, the email here so that's how we retrieve um i mean before we retrieve it that's how we display it here but then as i said in the next video we are going to do um the logout and then in the other video we are going to do the auto authenticate so we will save everything in a shared preference okay and then use that here instead of um trying to create a user object here and then using that um, user object here. but i just wanted to show you that it is possible to do it that way so we have it now so we go to the home we come and it's still the same okay so thank you guys for watching and then i will see you in the next um video tutorial thank you bye